This is Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. With a panoramic view of the Frankfurt Airport in the Lufthansa First Class Lounge, please welcome ET Now Shirley Chopra. Hello and welcome to Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. Every week here on the show, we bring you face to face with a pioneer who sets new benchmarks in their fields of business. Today, we celebrate the undying spirit of entrepreneurship, where pioneers of today select the pioneers of tomorrow. My guest today, who's joining me in the Lufthansa First Class Lounge, is a man who was a seasoned career bureaucrat. He spent 28 years as an IAS officer, where he had spearheaded some key government projects. It was during his stint as the managing director of the country's largest passenger car company, between 1999 and 2007, that he actually captured the imagination of the masses. He spearheaded Maruti Suzuki India Limited from being a challenge monopoly, bracing competition by foreign players, to an overwhelming leader eventually in a crowded marketplace. After serving Maruti Udyog successfully for 14 years, this man went ahead to establish his own automotive venture. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the founder and chairman of Carnation Auto, Jagdish Khattar. Watch the stars grow brighter As the sunshine slipped away Of course, that's uh, the story and the journey of a man who's uh, literally been on a long drive in this business. But we're going to catch up with Mr. Cutter and three entrepreneurs who are going to join us in just a bit to talk to us about what their business plans are, how are they putting their vision to work, and try and get some guidance from Mr. Cutter right here. That's going to be on the other side of this first class lounge. Yeah. Hi, my name is Akshat Rathi and I run Earth 100, the world's first firm to run your car only on biofuels. Hi, my name is Zaruk. I'm the CEO of Precious Microtech, a software and technology company for the German jewelry industry. We offer complete solutions for the German jewelry industry. Hi, Ravi Doshi here from Oswal Industries, youngest and fastest growing valve company going global. This is Pioneer Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. Welcome back to Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. We have with us here the chairman of Carnation Auto, Jagdish Khattar, at the Lufthansa First Class Terminal. It's the only airline in the world that can actually boast one. Joining us now, though, are three entrepreneurs who have a grand vision, a sound business plan, and the spirit to become a pioneer of tomorrow. They will make short presentations to Mr. Khattar right here and try to impress him, gain his confidence, and even get some guidance. The winner is going to bag a Lufthansa business class return ticket to his dream destination in Europe and also get a mentorship by Thai. So let's start and bring in our first entrepreneur on this show today. Zaruk Shah, thanks very much. Welcome to the show. Come have a seat. So Precious Micro is your company. Talk to us a little bit about what the firm does. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a third generation jeweler. I lived in Japan for the past 18 years. I'm back in India in 2009, taking care of Precious Microtech, uh, our software and technology division. Having a strong jewelry domain, we offer complete solutions for the jewelry industry. At the moment, we are on the verge of launching a revolutionary machine, which is called Gemini Mark. Basically, it's a machine for to, di to assort diamonds and color stones uh, in the industry. Uh, basically, the diamonds and color stones uh, are assorted uh, on the basis of purity, uh, clarity, and uh, color and luster. And it's a very laborious process, and it's done manually by assorters. And uh, assortment also has a human margin of error. And uh, not, only, uh, not only that, uh, assortment really causes eye strain. Due to this reason, the assorter and the Kariga community are diminishing at the moment. Uh, it's really difficult to find assorters. We'll automate uh, this process of assortment. Whereas a human can do about uh, 2,000 stones uh, per day, a machine can do about uh, 30,000 stones uh, in a day. First machine will be launched uh, at Titan. Um, after that, we will be uh, making more machines. Okay. You know, jewelry business is a very traditional business. Right. Everything to do with feel and touch. Right. There's a huge jump to technology. How do you think the industry will take that? So actually, the technology, I mean, it's going to take a lot of time, and that's why we see a lot of opportunity. And uh, the innovation which we're trying to do, in fact, enhance, enhances the uh, 
the standard of the product and it's going to have customers. So what has been the penetration so far? It's less than 5% of the entire market actually. Less but than 5% can be very small also. But I mean. you're talking about uh, 35 billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you go into the sums, they are huge. But the question is acceptability and what is the cost like? The cost, uh, the first machine will be about 40 lakh rupees. It's and it will replace how many people? I told you about the numbers, 2,000 and 30,000, you're talking about 15 people, right? Okay, how are you getting funded? And when you're saying you've got existing orders, so what are you looking at in terms of, you know, revenues? Because this is a start, first year looks like. I suppose funding comes from the family. It's difficult, it's, it's not easy. It's easy. No, no, it's easy to get it from your parents, but that's the money right. is there. But that's for the first machine, and then, but when I'm going to the next scale, I need uh, a bigger infrastructure. The existing uh, one is not enough for us. Thank you very much, right. Saraksha. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Precious uh, micro. All the best. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Our next entrepreneur is Akshat Rati of Earth 100. Congratulations. So should we imagine Earth 100 has to do with the environment and you know or is there something um, deeper out there for you to tell us about what Spot Earth 100 is? It has to do something with the environment and that was kind of where it started from. We wanted to prove a point that can we run a car on 100% biofuel? It was more a question, and uh, we were successful in proving that. And successful means what? So we can now run, as of right now, with our partnership with Mahindra and Mahindra, we can run a Scorpio on 100% biofuel. Right? What's the constitution of this fuel you're talking about? It's a, it's 100% made of biofuel. That means there is no fossil fuel in this. It's mm -hmm. either made, and we, and we decided to make it out of non-edible oil. So oil. how many cars have you been able to convert? And uh, there are. 42 cars out on the on the roads right now. We have an order book for about another 100. You know, even when CNG was introduced, the problem was, you get CNG in Delhi, if you go to Agra, what do you do? If you go outside, what do you do? Again, a brilliant question which you have asked. So now you can actually take this car if you're traveling from Delhi to Agra, and you have biofuel, 100% biofuel in it, and you reach halfway to Agra, and you're out of fuel. Pull into any gas station, fill diesel in the same tank, no problems. You're back, you still have half a tank of uh, diesel left, put biofuel in it from 0% to 100% same car. So how will it go mass? I think that's mm. the larger yeah. point there. So at what stage do you think this company we would be able to mass do this? as about a maximum of 10,000 such vehicles on the streets in India. The vision of this will eventually, as, as eventually, as the way, what are you going to do with this company when it grows? The, uh, no, no, what will the customers do? They yeah. take this and then they have a problem and they are in... We, we, uh, that's true. It can't be everywhere. The customer needs assurance. The customer right. needs that support. Correct. How will that support go to him? Okay, so there's four things which you benefit out of this. The first thing is your efficiency of your car is 16% higher than your normal car. Okay. Your cost is the same, okay. both for the car and for the fuel. Okay. The biggest benefit which is comes is environment too. You can actually go and sustainably say that your car pollutes 82% lesser than a normal car. Can I be a contrarian? Yes. I want a car to run. Right. As, as a number of customers, that I want a car to run, I go with my family, there's no hassle wherever I go. But is there a hassle? Why would there be a hassle? No, that's why I'm saying, how do you give support if it goes out? We have a comprehensive tie-up with the car manufacturer to go and service the car anywhere that the car is manufactured. For example, if it's a Mahindra mm -hmm. car, you can take your Mahindra car anywhere where there's a Mahindra service okay. station. So that's only with one manufacturer? Yes. yes. Your tie-up with Mahindra is of what nature? Are they investing in it or your what exactly? So our there? investors are General Power. As of right now, our second round of funding is coming in from two investors. We are at current term sheets level with them. We are raising $5 million for about 20% of the company. Mr. Qatar yeah. is going to think about this one. No, no, no. I'm just saying <laughs> oh, it's that... it's good. He, he is from the industry. Exactly, it's, it's, which is what I'm saying. Oh, exactly. It's the Market. people convinced, convinced and assured of it. Oh, I mean, that, that we, we've been lucky with this. Uh, we've had a person come to our uh, offices and say, I love this. It'll save my children. Can I buy this? And we've told him no, because you're one person and I can't give you one car. You buy ten, I can give them to you. Individuals can't come to no, you? No, this is not a B2C solution, sir. As of right now, I it's cannot... It's only do, B2B? It's only a B2B solution. So, so the manufacturers? No, to corporate, sir. I give it often to corporate free time. That's okay, where they... Cool. We'll have more to debate yeah, on this. Please. Thanks very much, Akshay. Thank you so much, Akshay. Yes. All the best. Thanks so much. Cheers. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay. Our third entrepreneur is Ravi Doshi, International Business Head at Oswal Industries. Welcome. So what does Oswal Industries do? And International Head means the other one handling the global piece? Yes. Uh, we are a wall manufacturing company. 
and our biggest USP is that we are a fully integrated valve manufacturer. We have our own foundry which is dedicated only for valve castings. We don't do any other kind of castings. And we have India's first uh, such valve testing facility. We can do all possible tests on valve. The two, three questions. Yes. Have you finished? Yes, yes. Who are, the, who are your major competitors or who are the established people? Today we are competing with l &T group company called Odco India. We are competing against KSB Valves, which is a German company and other, other global players. Can I say one thing? Yes. Yeah. Uh, automobile manufacturer right. produces only 20% of the right. car. 80% right. is from outside. outside. Right. So the whole business has changed. Yes. Now you are going back to so the same thing that you are saying. It is not a mass production. The standard valves, yes, which are produced in mass are being done in that way. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of special valves required which are used for special application like sulfur recovery. How long have you been in this uh, manufacturing? We've been in the valve manufacturing for last 15 years. So Come this is a family week. business that you have? So yeah. So this is not an independent company. What you are doing is there is an existing business and you are trying to upgrade or bring new technology or new product. Right. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Great. So we'll have more discussion on the subject. Sure. Thanks Thank very much. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Well, so you've got a whole host of different industries to deal with, but I think many of them are so close to manufacturing that you probably have a greater keen eye for that one. We'll, of course, uh, give you some time to think about that. We'll also get Saurabh Srivastava, Chairman Emeritus of Thai. Uh, who's going to come in and join us in just a bit. Incidentally, he's been listening to some of these pitches uh, through our control room. That's right. Saurabh, what do you think? Hi, Shelley. Three very interesting entrepreneurs today. Look forward to joining you and Jagdish right after the break. Looking forward to that, Saurabh. For our viewers, though, even you could participate. Now, who do you think should be today's winner? Well, you could win yourself a Lufthansa gift hamper if you could predict the correct answer. All you have to do is choose from three options on your screen. If you think it's option A, who could be today's winner, write Pioneer space A. And similarly for Pioneer B and C. Send in your message to 58888. The winning entry will be revealed on the Lufthansa India Facebook page. Stay right there because a lot more is coming up after this short break. This is Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. Welcome back. You're watching Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. We now also have with us Shaurav Sevastav, who's joining us as the Chairman Emeritus of Thai member of the PM's National Innovation Council and of course our pioneer writer Jigdish Kutter. Together the two of them are going to judge the three pitches that have just been come through and decide who will win the business class return ticket to Europe and also the mentorship by Thai. I'm sure it's uh, going to be a bit of a tight go at that one. Manufacturing all of them, uh, what do you feel sir based on what you've heard? So maybe we should start with, uh, with the roof, right? Right. Uh, now you've been in the jewelry business. Apart from what you're doing right now, what is your base model? Um, actually, I run a software company. We provide end-to-end uh, -end solutions for the jewelry industry, whether it's in branding, uh, design consultants, CAD CAM services, um, uh, software solutions, as well as automation. We provide end-to-end um, -end solutions to the jewelry industry. And what I heard when I was listening uh, to the earlier session is you said there is no competition for it. Not at the moment. So what is the real game that you think people will get from using this product? First of all, uh, as a diamond manufacturer or the jewelry manufacturer, the cycle time reduces and uh, the production increases. Moreover, like the jewelry finished, is ha it's much higher standardized product because it's uniformly assorted, which gives you um, higher customer satisfaction. All right, great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, here a non-edible oil few, yeah. which uh, Jagdish had a good time uh, <laughs> quizzing. What, what are your sort of uh, specific questions on that subject? Uh, yeah. Where well, are the loopholes? Well, it sounds very exciting. The thing that concerned me is your restriction that you can go up to 10,000 cars. Then it would be hard to set up for you an infrastructure that would make it easier for the user to use it. Even though, as I heard, any Mahindra station would support it. The reality is if there's only so many cars, there'll only be so many trained technicians. They may not be sitting in uh, Nainital. So 
So it's more about coverage, no. scaling up. How, how do you argue the idea that, you know, how will you scale up at some point? Because you seem to be clear that there is a restriction that lies there. A person who can go fix a normal Mahindra car can fix this car. No additional training so required. So would it, would it make sense, for instance, is because in a controlled environment this works well. I'll give you an example of this. And I, in fact, I was, I'm still a part of the Supreme Court Committee. The, when Delhi government went on CNG, they restricted it to public transport. Buses, two-wheelers, taxis, because they were bound to be within Delhi and they provided all the support. You know, when we started the whole thing, we only had 30 outlets. Today, there are 200 of them. Mm. Both your suggestions are spot on and we've restricted ourselves to commercially, commercial fleets run for corporates only. That's good, because I think in that environment, you can give a good experience. Okay. Let's get Ravi Doshi in now at Osal Industries. Yeah, Ravi. So you're doing valves. Right. that you were saying. And, and from what I could gather, there must be companies in India and abroad who do exactly the same thing? Uh, not vibes? really, because all no, big companies go into the mass production. Even if they want to do this, it is not possible because of their scale. So how big is your, your revenues? Last year we had a, a group turnover of 100 crores plus. Mm -hmm. For these valves? Yes. I'm talking of these special uh -huh. valves. He's, no, he's, special valves he's, was uh, just 10 percent of the total revenue. So 10 crores, right? Yes. Have you figured out what your unique proposition is that you can take this 10 crore revenues up to 100 million dollars? Sir, that is why we are going global. Because people who are manufacturing this abroad, their prices are 10 times higher than me. When we directly go to the end user, we will be able to serve them directly at mm -hmm. much lower the cost and with the direct services. All right, gentlemen, uh, it's been a pleasure listening to this and uh, getting some ideas. It's time now for us to get uh, the moment of truth going with both Saurabh and Mr. Qatar deciding who is going to win today's show. I was trying to understand which one can become more of a mass. Mass is going to be difficult for all three of them. Exactly. Biofuels is a niche market. Both of the others are good, but they're at a stage where they're just beginning to get traction. So do we have some consensus? Looking at the progress made so far, and the possibility of acceptability. I think Akshat uh, would be the winner. Akshat Rati Earth 100 is the winner today. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Akshat. Thanks, Thanks so much. Well done. Thanks so much. Cheers, sir. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Mr. Thanks Thanks so much. And well done. You have, uh, you also have a good idea, but we'll take a little time. Because yeah. you're no, very no owner, you have to use one thing. All right then, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Harvindan Singh, Corporate Sales Manager at Lufthansa India, to join us and give our pioneer a small memento and also give our winner the Lufthansa Business Class Return Ticket. Welcome. Hi. Thank you very much for participating in the show. We'd like to present you with the 380. That's personalized in the name. I think it'll be a good change amongst the multiple brands of car. <laughs> 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 Thank you for your participation. And a business class ticket for you for any destination in Europe, Lufthansa destination. Thanks so much. Yes. Congratulations Thanks again. So congratulations to you as well. Thank you. Thanks for your participation. All right, gentlemen. Well, congratulations. It's been a pleasure having all of them here on the show. And you as a viewer, remember to log on to the Lufthansa India Facebook page. Keep yourself updated. For now, it's a wrap on pioneering spirit, a product of Lufthansa. Stay right here with ET Now.